friends, it's Little Miss Coupons back again for a little newbie video. I wanted to talk to you all about Rite Aid couponing. So before I get started, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. It is completely free and it really helps me out. Please tap that like button. It takes one millisecond and it costs nothing for you and it really helps me out. Um, if you are new and you just found me by this video, let me know in the comments that you are new and where you're from. I love doing that. That's one of my favorite things. If you're not new, um, thank you so much for coming back to another video. I really appreciate you so much. Um, and if you could share this with somebody who you think this might help, um, I would really greatly appreciate that too. So today I'm going to try to talk to you guys about everything you need to know to be successful couponing at Rite Aid. Um, I'm really going to start with the basics of the basics. Um, I'm just going to cut over to a clip where I am on the Rite Aid browser. Um, and I'm going to show you all the important places to go and things you need to know about being on RiteAid.com. Um, I personally don't use the app that much, but I do suggest that you also have the app and I will explain why later in this video, but I'm not going to waste any time. We're going to hop right in. So I'm going to show you around the website and then we'll come back here after. All right. So you're going to go to RiteAid.com and you are going to sign in. It's going to take you to this page. To sign in, you're going to tap the little person in the corner. It's going to say sign in. You're going to sign in. Then if you click on where it says Rite Aid Points, you can click on that. And it's going to bring you to the page we were just on. So this is your reward summary. You have points and bonus cash, digital coupon amount. Okay, so you can get points at Rite Aid. That's if you spend $50, you would get 500 points because it's 10 points for every dollar and 1,000 points equals $2. So essentially, if you spend $100, you would get 1,000 points and then you could convert it to bonus cash by picking or eh, by clicking that pink button and it would get added to your cash amount for bonus cash. If you scroll down, they tell you you get 10 points for every dollar, up to $200 in weekly savings with like coupons and stuff, 750 points on prescriptions, which is pretty awesome. So if I were you, I'd pick my prescriptions up from Rite Aid. And then if you are over 65, they have five times the points on every first Wednesday of the month. So if you spend $50 instead of getting 500 points, you would get 2,500 points which is a really, really awesome thing to utilize if you are old enough. Um, so then if you scroll down from here, it just basically explains exactly what I just said to you. Um, really not anything else on this page that I need to show you. Oh, they do kid sense at Rite Aid. Um, which is where they will like round up your purchase to the nearest dollar, which is pretty awesome for math's sake. Some frequently asked questions. Okay, so now we're going to go back up. We're going to click the three little bars in the top left corner, and then we're going to click on weekly ad. So the weekly ad is where you're going to find all of your deals for the week. Um, up top, it's going to tell you what store you're shopping at. You can change that to your location or to a different store because I think some weekly ads may be different. But if you scroll down, you will see the barcode for the in-ad barcode. That's the spend 50, get 10. You can screenshot that. Or if your store doesn't take screenshots, this would be how you would get to that barcode so you could use it in store. So then if you scroll down, you're going to see all the different promotions they have for that week. Like here is our spend 30, get $10 in bonus cash on P&G products. This is a really hot deal this week because um, you can get tied and gain for really, really cheap. And you can pair that with the barcode that I just showed you for the spend 50, get 10. Most of those times the spend 30, get 10s are limits of two. But if you keep scrolling down, you just see all the deals that are going on for that week. Sometimes you will come upon a coupon that looks like this. This is a Rite Aid store coupon. 
those can be stacked with manufacturer coupons. And I'm going to show you where the manufacturer coupons are next. But um, that you can screenshot or get to it from the ad. Um, you can only get Rite Aid store coupons through the ad like this or through the mailers that come in the mail. And they can stack with manufacturer coupons. I know I already said that, but I'm just saying it again. Um, I'm going to show you guys where you go to get to your manufacturer coupons. You're going to click the three little bars again, and then you're going to click on digital coupons. That's going to bring you to this page. Um, and this is where all your digital coupons are going to load. Rite Aid's website is funky sometimes. See how there's two $3 coupons for Navia? There are not two of them. You only have one. I don't know why it does this with the coupons sometimes, um, but if you just keep scrolling down, you'll eventually see the rest of the coupons that actually are there. Um, but like I said, just make sure that you know that there's not two. There's only one. Um, but yeah, we have a ton. These are all manufacturer. These are not store coupons. So you can stack the store coupon from the ad with these. If you want to search for a specific coupon, you can scroll up, click search, type in Tide, for example, and click the search button. And then all your Tide coupons will pop up. I don't have any because I clipped mine already. If you want to see where your already clipped coupons are, you're going to go back to this page. You're going to click sort and filter, and then you're going to check the clipped box X out and the page should load. And when you scroll down, you'll see all of your clipped coupons there. That way you know exactly what you have loaded to your card and what you might not have. So this way you know what will come off at the register. Um, so those three little bars are pretty much how you're going to get around to everything you need to ground to. Um, I showed you pretty much everything except for one of the most important things, which is bonus cash challenges. So you're going to press bonus cash challenges. And you're going to get this screen. So right there, you're going to type in your number and you're going to click sign in. I'm just going to switch over because I don't want you to see my number, obviously. This is your bonus cash challenge section. Um, if you scroll down, you're going to see all these different challenges, like on top, visit the store eight times, spend $15 each time, earn $10 in bonus cash. There's all kinds. So you can scroll down, see all of them, and then you can start picking which ones you think you would do for the month. Now, bonus cash challenges, they are in a 60-day period. So it, you actually get two months to complete these. Um, for example, the Old Spice is like, what, spend 29, earn $7.30 in bonus cash challenge money. Now, when you do that in store, the bonus cash challenge money is not going to show up on the bottom of your receipt like other bonus cash does. So don't think that that's what's going to happen. Uh, if you go and you spend $30 on Old Spice in store and say it's spend 30, get 10 in the store, you'll see the $10 on the bottom of your receipt, but this won't load until 24 hours later the next day. The $7.30 in bonus cash challenge money will pop up here, but it's going to load at the top of the page. Here in this top left corner. Um, now they have this thing where if you complete all 10 bonus cash challenges, they'll round your bonus cash challenge money up to 70. For example, the last month, uh, I had a total of like $58 in bonus cash challenges and they rounded it up to 70. So I got an extra $12 in bonus cash challenge money. Um, if your total bonus cash challenge money ends up being, uh, $78, let's say, they will keep it at $78 for you. Um, you're not going to like get rounded down to 70. I hope that makes sense. Um, but the bonus cash challenges, those are great, great, great. Those are a great way to just stack extra money for when, um, they finish up so they'll com they'll complete on the 31st and then normally your bonus cash challenge money will hit your account around the fifth of the month so for example mine just loaded into my account today which is the fifth 
Um, so now you have all this extra bonus cash to use on your trips for the coming months. All right, so now you guys know how to find things on the website, and I showed you the most important thing of all. I mean, what I think the most important thing of all is um, the coupons and the bonus cash challenges and the rewards. So Rite Aid has three different ways you can earn, one being points, two being bonus cash weekly and monthly deals, which are in store or online and bonus cash challenges. And in the video, I did say, you know, those bonus cash challenges, they run for a 60 day period. Um, and I did mention that when you go to the store, they are not going to show up on the bottom of your receipt as money earned there. They're going to like sit in your bonus cash challenge account until those 60 days are up. And then It'll end on the 30 or 31st of the month. And then on the 5th of the next month, whatever money you earned in bonus cash challenge money will then be put into your account. So it's really kind of just like a bonus for when you are couponing there because most of the time we're really already getting stuff for damn near free or free in a money maker at Rite Aid. And then when the next month comes and you're running low, boom, you get all this bonus cash to start out a new 60 days. So I'm just saying um, you should definitely, definitely utilize those bonus cash challenges. They really are super great. I don't know any other store that does something like that. So when the new 60 day bonus cash period does start, what you're going to want to do is look at your bonus cash challenges, write them down maybe. And then we have this really good resource. It's called iheartwriteaid.com. You can go over there and you can actually look ahead for the next like three to four weeks and see what is coming in the weeks, you know, weeks ahead. So you can match up like sales with your bonus cash challenges and coupons and things like that. So that is a great resource to have um, and to look on if you are going to be couponing at Rite Aid regularly. Um, I did just want to mention this really quick. If you are just starting out couponing, period, pick one store like Rite Aid and stick with Rite Aid until you know everything there is to know about Rite Aid and you're super comfortable and then move on to the next store. Because if you try to do more than one store at once, I promise you're going to get overwhelmed. It's going to be hard to keep things straight, what you can do at this store, what you can't do at that store. Um, I forgot to mention that in the beginning of the video, but... I just wanted to say that now because I tried to dip into all the stores when I first started and I just got super confused. But so now that I have went over a lot of the basic stuff that you need to know for Rite Aid, um, I even showed you some store coupons, the digital store coupons that you'll see in the ad. Um, I wanted to show you some other examples of store coupons. These are... Well, these are manufacturer coupons, but they're printed off um, from the Catalina. So these would be store coupons. So these will come in a mailer to your house sometimes. Um, and any store coupon can stack with a manufacturer coupon. So say, you know, we have this 50 cents off here for the pop. Say you had a dollar off Catalina manufacturer coupon or even just a regular manufacturer paper coupon, you could hand both of those over for one pop and they would both come off of the product. Um, so I wanted to show you those as an example. Um, so <clears throat> you're probably also wondering, you know, where can I get paper coupons? I feel like I get this question all the time. They're not completely necessary to have to coupon at Rite Aid because Rite Aid gives us plenty of digitals to work with, but they can definitely make your transactions that much better and you can take it one step further if you have paper manufacturer coupons. So a couple of different websites you can get them from are coupons.com, pggoodeveryday.com, so that'll be all your P&G products like Tide. What I have sitting behind me is a bunch of Rite Aid stuff. I got all this in my last Rite Aid haul video for free in a $6.43 moneymaker. So 
This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. If you know how to work Rite Aid right, you can get all of that for free in a moneymaker. Anyways, so coupons.com, pggoodeveryday.com, any brand sites like Kotex, they have a spot for coupons. Colgate has a little area for coupons. Um, Foy's has a little area for coupons. Scott.com has an area. So if there's anything that you're specifically going out for, it doesn't hurt to just search up their website and look at the drop down menu and see if they have coupons. And if they do, you can most likely print, you know, between two and four of them from one device. And if you need more than that, use somebody else's device. You know, I use when I'm printing out coupons and I know I need like 12 of one and I only have a limit of two, I use my phone, I use my boyfriend's phone, I use my one tablet, I use my computer, I use my other phone, then I'll use my stepdad's phone, I'll use my mom's phone, my sister's phone, my dad, you know what I mean? Like, just use whatever you can. Because you don't have to print them right from the phone. You can click the arrow and you can text them to yourself so you can print them later or email them, whatever. Um... If you're not looking, well, and another place to get printables would be an Instagram fairy. I specifically use um, Quick Cues, she's called, and she's amazing. She has like a 12-hour turnaround. I think I normally get them faster than that, so I like put the order in, and boom, like a couple hours later, she already emailed me with the coupons I asked for, so I just have to print them out. Super great resource. Um, And if you're not looking for printables, you can get individually clipped coupons from clip2save.com. That's K L I P, the number two, then S A V E.com. They're super cheap and they come in a few business days. So that's if you just want specific coupons and, like, you know, say you want 10 of just the CoverGirl I coupon, then you can just get those. You don't have to get the whole insert with all the other coupons that you're probably not going to use. Um, if you're looking for inserts, you can get a Sunday paper subscription every week where the Sunday paper comes to your doorstep and you will have one coupon insert in there almost every week of the year, except for the weeks we have holidays. Um, or you could do a subscription service, which is what I do through Nurse Paula. If you just Google Nurse Paula, her site will pop up and you can buy inserts from her whenever or she offers a subscription service. So I do that weekly. I pay like 11 bucks a week and she sends me five insert or four inserts, I think. It's either four or five inserts every week and I always get them early. I coupon a lot. I sell a lot. So I need more than one insert every week for the amount of stuff that I go out and get. Um, so yeah, Nurse Paula, super great. Okay, so we talked about store coupons, we've talked about paper coupons, we've talked about digital coupons. Now, this is where I think everyone starts to get a little bit confused. We're going to talk threshold coupons. Threshold coupons are like a, for example, this would be a mailer threshold coupon, a $4 off of $10 purchase, right? Then you can get them from the Catalina machine. This one is a 13 off of 50 that printed from the Catalina. Or you can get them, they might print on the bottom of your receipt, like this one here, which is an 8 off of 40. So I always, 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 no matter what, print my receipt because you might get a threshold coupon on the bottom. Okay, so now let's talk about how can you use these. So... This is a 4 off of 10 and this is a 13 off of 50. You cannot just buy $50 worth of products and get 13 and $4 off at the same time. It doesn't work like that. Your product total in your cart has to be enough to cover both of these. So if I wanted to use both of these in the same transaction, I would have to spend 50 plus $10. So I'd have to spend $60 and then I would get... $17 off of my total. I could use both. Um, if you had, say, a 4 off of 10, a 5 off of 15, and a 5 off of 25, and you spent, what is that? 5 off 25, and you spent $50, then yeah, you could use all three of those and get all of that money off. Um, you just have to make sure that you're always spending 
the whole amount in product. Okay. So threshold coupons, that is like the basics for that. <sighs> Where I think people start to get confused is with Rite Aid's digital coupons. So if you're using digital coupons in a transaction, it does not affect your threshold coupon. So say I want to use this. I'm just going to keep it simple. Say I want to use this for off of 10. If I have $10 exactly in product and then I have a $3 digital coming off, that's going to bring my total down to $7. But we can still use this and get an additional $4 off. It will still work. Our digital coupon does not affect threshold coupons, okay? It took me a long time to wrap my head around this because I'm going to switch gears and we're going to talk about booster coupons. I'm going to pop a picture up here of the one from this week, which I already showed you when I was showing you our little walk around the website. Our in ad spend 50, get 10. Okay. Now you have to spend $50 in order to earn an additional $10 back in bonus cash. If you get your cart up to exactly 50, and then you have $5 in digital coupons coming off and you go up to the front and you scan that barcode, you are not going to get your additional $10 back in bonus cash. I don't know why it's like this, but you're just not. So if you are using digital coupons, you would have to get, say you have $5 in digital coupons that you're using and you want to use that spend 50 or in 10 in bonus cash. You would have to get your product total up to $55 then your $5 off of 55 would come off or your $5 would come off and you would be at 50. So yes, your booster coupon for spend 50 earn 10, you would earn your extra $10 in bonus cash back. Now, with that being said, like I just told you, if your cart was at 55, you could use a Catalina coupon for let's say 11 off of 55 and use your booster for spend 50 earn ten dollars back because after your five dollars in digital coupons come off you are still at 50 to get the booster and before your digital coupons came off you were at 55 to use your catalina threshold coupon i feel like that's a whole jumbled mess and probably sounds really confusing but I'm trying to make it as simple as possible for you. And I promise I'm going to show you an example in a little bit. Um, so, okay. So let me do another example. Say I'm in the store, right? And I want to use our spend 50, get $10 back in bonus cash. And I put three, four things in the cart and my cart comes up to $60 and some change. And I have $8 in digital coupons coming off. Can I still use my spend 50, earn 10 booster and get my $10 in bonus cash back? What do you think? Yes, you can. Because you spent 60 and you only have $8 in digital coupons coming back, coming off. So your total is at 52. So you're over 50. You're still at enough to use the booster coupon. Now, I spent $60, right? Am I going to be able to use a 15 off of 60 threshold coupon at the same time? Yes, because your product total was $60 before the digital coupons came off. So yes, you still can use that. I hope that makes a little bit of sense. Um, the last thing that I want to talk about before I show you, well, you know what? Actually, let's cut over. I'm going to show you my little in-store um, video. I just take you in the store really quick. I show you what a monthly deal tag looks like, what a weekly deal tag looks like, and then I put I put a transaction together and then I show you it broken down, written on paper. And then we'll cut back here and I'll tell you how you can cash out the best way. OK, so I'll see you in a minute. OK, you guys, so I'm bringing you in the store with me to just kind of show you a little bit of how Rite Aid tags things and what to look for. 
So I'm coming over into the laundry section. They have these tags up. Now, if the tag says as advertised on the bottom, that means this is a weekly deal. So the Tide Pods here, 42 count, are tagged at $12.99 on sale. Earn $10 in bonus cash when you spend $30 on this item. So that's a PNG item. So you're going to have to be familiar with what's PNG and whatnot. So these downy are also included. See how it says it there? And it's a limit of two offers per card. So you got to make sure that you're keeping things um, on the same deal and not mix and matching deals. So I am working up a deal right now and I want to just show you guys how I did it. So I picked up one downy scent bead for $12.99. I have a $3 digital coupon for that. And then I picked up one of these Tide Pods, the bigger ones for $19.99, because I have a $4 digital coupon for that. So $19.99 plus $12.99 is $32.98. So we're good to earn our $10 back when we spend $30. Then we're gonna have $7 in digital coupons coming off. So we're only gonna pay $25.98. Take this out for those two, but we're gonna earn back our $10 in bonus cash. But we also have a booster this week, spend 50, earn five, or earn 10. So I'm gonna get our transaction up to 50. I also threw in this little downy on clearance for $3.14 because I have a bonus cash challenge for downy on this card. If I spend $15, I'm gonna earn an additional $4 back. So these two total me just over $15. So I'm going to earn an additional $4 back in bonus cash. So by picking up these three items, we are already earning $14 back in bonus cash and we're only paying like 28. So we're getting half of our money back already. So now I'm going to show you what a tag for a monthly deal looks like. So the dove over here, it doesn't say as advertised. So this is a monthly deal. The dove is on promotion for spend 20, earn $10 in bonus cash. And that is only a limit of two offers per card. So you need to watch with that one. Okay, so to add to the deal that I'm working on, I'm actually gonna grab three of these pumps and they are full price. They're not even buy one, get one half. I feel like I'm crazy for doing this but it's gonna work out really well. And I don't even have a bonus cash challenge on this card. Um, but we're gonna pick up three. So one, we're gonna put in the cart, two, and we're gonna grab one of these for number three. So those three total us up to $41.97 because they're $13.99 each. I have three $3 paper coupons we're gonna use. That'll bring us down to $32.97, earning back $20 in bonus cash because we did the deal two times. We spent 20 twice. It's a limit of two for the entire month. So I'm gonna mark that down on my paper so I know not to do that deal again on this card. Here is the breakdown for what was in my cart. The three Dove, the Tide, and the two Downy totaled us up to $78.09. So we are over $70, which means we are good to use our $18 Catalina. So that came off. <clears throat> then we had $7 in digitals coming off of our total. So if you take $78 minus $7, we'd be at $71. So we are way over the $50 mark to use our booster. So. We have $78.09 minus $18 Catalina, minus $7 in digital coupons, minus $9 in paper coupons for the Dove, means we would pay $44.09 at the register, but then we would get back $10 for spending $50 on the barcode, $10 for spending $30 on P&G, and then $20 because we spent $20 twice on Dove, so we'd max that deal out. So we're going to get $40 back in bonus cash. That's going to show up on our receipt this 40 you will see on the bottom of your receipt this three dollars and 80 cents in bonus cash is bonus cash challenge money that will not show up on the bottom of your receipt it will show up 24 hours later in your bonus cash challenge section of your Rite Aid account on the browser which i showed you earlier <coughs> um, and they will round that just to four dollars because it's so close already so we're going to be getting back a total of $44 in bonus cash. Plus, since we spent over $50, we're definitely getting a dollar's worth of points. 
So 45 back and we spent out 4409. That entire transaction is completely free. Now I'm gonna throw this little wrench in it. If we had a dove bonus cash challenge, which most of the time it'll be like spend $38, get like 680 back, we would have gotten an additional $7 back in bonus cash challenge money. So this could have been a way bigger money maker. So that's why doing the bonus cash challenges is really important. And this is also why it's really important to remember how the threshold coupons work and how the booster coupons work. So I hope, I know this isn't written very well, but I, I hope that you seeing it written out like that makes more sense. Just always remember, if you're gonna use a Catalina or a threshold coupon, just make sure your entire total is enough. And then make sure if you're gonna use the booster coupon, that after digital coupons come off, you are still at the spend amount for the booster. Um, yeah. All right, now that I showed you our little in-store video and you've seen what a monthly deal tag looks like, what a weekly deal tag looks like, and how to put a transaction together where you're getting the most back in bonus cash, you can see now how I worked that out for it to end up as a money maker. Everything was free technically. And I even matched up a bonus cash challenge for that deal so I could earn more money back. You can also match in Ibotta rebates, shop meal rebates, all those things and get all this money back. So um, when it comes to checking out at Rite Aid, earlier in the video, I said you should have the Rite Aid app too. And this is exactly why. Okay. So after you figure out your cart and what coupons you're going to use and everything, you're going to go up to the register. You're going to hand over all of your items. And I always wait until they're done scanning all the items to put my number in. So then you're going to type your number in and you're going to click, no, I do not want to use my bonus cash to pay. You are going to hand over your barcode for your booster coupon, your spend 50, earn 10, spend 40, earn 10, whatever it is that week. You're going to have them scan that first. The register is going to beep, but it's not going to make it's not going to show anything on the screen for you, but as long as you hear it make a little beep sound, that means that they scanned it. It's good. It's in there. Just make sure that your product total is enough after digital coupons come off for your booster. Then after you hand it over your booster, you're going to hand over any threshold coupons you have. So say you have one of these, you hand that one over and you have one of these, you hand that one over. Okay. Now you're done with those. Then you're going to hand over any paper coupons you have. So say I have these two, I hand those over. Say I have a couple of these, I hand those over. The paper coupons, when you hand them over, I don't really think that matters what order you hand over your paper coupons in. You just always have to make sure you do your booster coupon first, then your threshold coupons, and then your paper coupons. And then when everything's, all your coupons are scanned, you're going to go on your Rite Aid app and you're going to pull up your barcode that's linked to your account. You're going to tell them to scan it. And then on the machine, it's going to pop up. Do you want to use your bonus cash to pay? And then you can click yes. And then they can finalize the transaction and you will be done. If you don't want to use the Rite Aid app and you trust your cashier on the other side to not finalize your transaction before you're done, I don't use the Rite Aid app. I trust my two cashiers that I always go to. They know me very well. They know exactly how to do it. So sometimes they'll catch me making a mistake. It's kind of funny. But um, if you don't want to do it that way, you can do it this way. This is how I do it. I walk up. I hand over all my items. I wait till they're done scanning all my items. I type in my phone number. I click, yes, I want to use my bonus cash to pay. And on their end, they just click OK or continue or whatever button it is. I'm not sure. But what they don't press is finalize. They do not press finalize and they do not click add rewards. They just click OK. Then I hand over my booster coupon first on my phone, my barcode on my phone, whatever it is that week, spend 50 or 10, spend 40 or 10, whatever. And then I hand over my threshold coupons. Boom. Boom. And then I'll wait till those are scanned and then I'll hand over whatever paper coupons I have, boom, wait till she's done scanning. And then they always look at me like, is that it? And I'll be like, 
<laughs> yeah. And then they click finalize and boop, 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 your receipt comes out. <laughs> so you can cash out either of those ways. I do know that some um, stores have self-checkout. My area does not have any Rite Aids with a self-checkout. Um, if you're wondering how to cash out at a Rite Aid self-checkout, I believe Jody Dunn has a video that explains that. And I do know that if your store is weird about scanning barcodes on your phone or if you're going to use self-checkout, you can go on your computer and print a picture of, say, a 5 off 25 threshold coupon or a 5 off 15 threshold coupon or the picture of, like, the in-ad barcode or the email barcode. You can actually bring that with you to the store. So if you're at the self-checkout, you're going to need those. So you can scan them when you're cashing out. I'm not going to go into talking about self-checkout because I just, like I said, I don't even have one around here. And I just think it's probably easier to go up, especially if you're just learning, to the register and do it the two ways I just told you that you can do it. The safest way to do it is the first way with using the app because then you never have them make the mistake where they finalize your transaction before you are done. Um. I think that's really everything. I just want to show you um, an example of a receipt really quick, and then that should be that. All right, you guys. I know I kind of showed you this in the car, but I wanted to show it to you better. We have the $3.14 Downey that was on clearance, and I guess I had a $0.50 cent digital coupon. I didn't even realize, so that's pretty awesome. Then we have our three doves at $13.99 with our three paper coupons. Then we have our Tide Power Pod at $19.99 with our $4 digital. And you know it's a digital because it says load to card coupon. And then we have a Downey at $12.99 with another $3 load to card coupon. And then we have that 18 off of 70. So I was able to use this 18 off of 70 because before all of these coupons, my total was over $70, okay? After all of these coupons, the digital coupons, I was over $50, so I was able to scan the barcode for spend 50, earn 10. So our subtotal came all the way down to $43.59. I used bonus cash to pay. Now, I don't factor in the tax because everyone's tax is different. So we paid out $43.59 and we earned back $40 in bonus cash here. So we got 10 for the email barcode, 10 for spending 30 on PNG, 10 for Dove, and 10 for Dove. So $40 in bonus cash there. And then we got a dollar in points here. And I had a Downey bonus cash challenge on this card. So it was like spend $15, earn an additional $3.80. And we had $12.99 plus $3.14. That is just over $15. So we earned an additional $4 back because they will round that to four for the Downey bonus cash challenge. So we spent out $43.59 and we got back $45. So that transaction I showed you in the store was like a dollar 41 money maker so pretty awesome stuff all right guys i really think that that's all i had for you today i tried to make the video a little bit quicker um i had one recorded earlier but i was like this is way too long it was like 35 minutes long and i was like i don't want to stop make them suffer through that i did want to touch base on everything if anyone has questions if you think i didn't explain something well enough please ask me in the comments. Feel free to email me anytime at amberstack214 at gmail.com that you are always welcome to do that. Um, and again, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Um, make sure notification bell is turned on so you're notified when I post a video. Smash the like button for me because it really helps me out and it's totally free for you. And um, share this with anyone who you think it might help. And I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow, which is Wednesday, for a little Walgreens haul. Um, I started my school classes again today, so I did fly over to Rite Aid. 
just to do a few small transactions with more tied, um, which I showed you one of them in this video. I just didn't do a whole Rite Aid haul video today. Um, but I'm like a day or two late for my Rite Aid video or for my Walgreens video. So I should hopefully see you guys um, tomorrow for that. So thank you again so much for watching. And I hope this really helps some of you. So happy savings to everyone. Bye.